morning everybody heartbreaker relics here what's left of us here in mississippi where's the rest of them man they're all uh off on some paid big time uh hunt out in texas uh I, it's not quite west texas but it's getting on out there into the hill country and uh Chris and I were just talking about it. It's 6.25 a.m. here on a Saturday. Could have slept late this morning, but we're out trying to find airheads where there aren't a whole lot of airheads here in Mississippi. And uh, they're out there in Texas where they're just laying on the ground, paid big money to go out there. Only rich folks can afford to do a hunt like that. Might crow. Yeah, he's going to enter at the best point. <laughs> Only rich people, baby. <laughs> Dan the man. Dan who thinks he's the man. Oh, oh. And uh, Spike, uh, you know, he, he's always talking about wanting to go to another state. I tell him his airheads here, but he's always wanting to go out there to Texas. He thinks everything's bigger in Texas. And uh, Randy, he's so giddy about going to Texas, rubbing it in on everybody, you know. But uh, I just told him I couldn't afford to do that right now. I've got kids at home and uh, young kids and anyway only rich folks can afford to do a hunt like that and uh, so we're going to try to scratch a hunt out here in uh, south central mississippi today well, yeah. tell me this what if they show up down there at Purvis yeah with a big old uh seven inch clovis uh, don't count does not count uh you think how is that fair to be out there in on a paid hunt with a oh, big yeah. outfitter um them throwing the dirt with a big skid steer up on there and, <laughs> and a shaker table with a big motor running and everything that's, all, all that you gotta, is no fair and uh all you gotta do is stand there and pick the artifacts off the table i mean that i mean it's shaking it for you that's I mean, right yeah so we're gonna holler disqualification if uh, a big a big clovis point shows that's, up that's exactly and those are uh, those Texas points. They're easy to identify. They look nothing like our points. Nothing like our points at all. Watch them. Watch them try to slip them in. There. Yep, they'll try to slip them in there. It's yeah. gonna happen. Yep. Gonna happen. All right. Well, we'll let you know if we get anything. But uh, hopefully, this will make a pretty good video. <laughs> Just for the record, I love hunting in Texas, and I wish I could have gone on that trip. It was a fantastic trip, according to the pictures and the tales that Spike and Randy and the rest of the crew brought back from Texas. I am, however, a seventh generation Mississippian, and I love hunting in my home state of Mississippi. And we have some fantastic artifacts here, as are going to be seen in this video. Got your man purse on? I think. That's what Kayla called. Yeah. Deep female, thank you. I was telling him the whole time, don't touch that, don't touch that. He couldn't stand it, he had to touch it. I touched it, and I think it's the whole point. Yeah, it's the whole point. Like I said, we'll clean all these up. They're muddy right now. My first hole one. Yeah, turn it inside. All right. Well, I didn't think it was a point, and I flipped it with this stick, and I believe it might be. Yeah, that's a point. Oh, yeah. They don't look as pretty muddy, but we'll clean them up. Oh, yeah. They look pretty in this pocket right here. Yeah, in purse. In your man purse. In your man purse. Yeah. All right, let's keep looking. See any? Where'd you get that? Right there. <laughs> huh? You you my gray? You making fun of my gray or something? <laughs> hey, I touched it with my probe, and I think it's a whole airhead. Ooh, it's it's a, a smoking up, a smoking pump. Thought it was a flake, but it's a fine little airhead. Wait that, to the cleanup on this one, people. Put that in your mouth. And take it to the cleaners mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. I don't want salmonella. That's a good little point there, boy. Thought it was a flake. Pays to touch them all. We got you nothing. We 
I did it again. I touched it. I thought it was a broken. I believe it's all there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We'll clean that up, man. I'll clean up the ass. How many does that make for you already? Probably about four. Good day. Not too far from the truck. Got four points in a Irish potato. <laughs> Well, I did it again. I saw Chris a keep touching these points before. It was about this much of that point sticking out, and I flipped it, and it was whole. It is hard to get them unless they're totally exposed to insect you. Well, let's keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Look at there. That's airhead perfection right there. Insect you. I've been touching him. He's been getting on to me. I can see a tip on this one. You think so? I think I can. There's one side. He worked that, he worked that side all in the morning. I'm going to put that in place. Oh, yeah, that'll clean up nice. Took two more steps, flipped another one out. It's an old, a good tilt. It's gonna clean up really good, I think. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Good point. <laughs> Take off this. Yeah, that's old. we gotta clean up with nice. Oh, that is yellow. Yellow. I saw this airhead, folks, well, on the- saw a rock and passed by. And, and turned, came back. my tracks were right here, and I, I turned back around. He had me uh, videoing a little bit. That's good airhead. It's gonna be. It's good airhead. Yes, it is. I missed this one. <laughs> this is mine now, buddy. It's got a good tip on it. Don't you hit my phone with that start to do. <laughs> <laughs> probably what 10 feet away yeah that would have been matt's row because he would have turned He's and sitting up there like toes do go get it look at there that's what you call sitting up on toes do it sure is look at that all right i ain't got time for your mess now let's find another area all right let's do it too There it, pull it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's got a got a impact or something on the front half looks good. All right. He's hollering point of the day, we'll see. Maybe the base may be sheared. I can't tell. No. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know if it's point of the day. Uh, a lot of these points are favoring uh, one side or the other yeah, as far like, as barbs. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah, you. All right, I'm rolling. All right, I just flipped something up. I haven't touched it other than my probe. Point of the day. Nah. Yes, it is. That's a point. That's a good point. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's good. It's a good point. Yeah. All right. Can't take too much time over here. Mm -hmm. Got another? Yeah. You want, you want to get it close up? Nah. You can just turn back the clock on this place and see what all happened here. Right there. What is that? Live find here. It's a blade or a point on one. Point. Got a good barb on it. Oh, it's got a barb right there. Yeah. Jumping road on me. Good Lord, I'm mercy. That's a good point, I think. There's a point and there's a point. Yeah. Now two. Jump me on that ladder. <laughs> All right, I think Chris has just found a big piece of petrified wood. Petrified wood utilized by these Indians as a hammer stone and stuff around here. We'll clean that up and show it to y'all. There you go. Piece of petrified wood Chris found yesterday that was on that site. Matthew, don't never bring any water. Did that bunch make it back from Texas? Oh, uh, yeah. I've seen all the, the, the little points and all. What did they find? Two, like on the whole. I saw some ropes. Yeah, I saw one old point. But you know that point looks a lot like those points down at Key Superstore, like on 49. I mean, you can buy them down there for a couple of dollars. I mean, it kind of looks similar to that. I've been out west before. You can buy those things at any of those, uh, you know, like uh, tourist Stands. So I, I don't know if they found anything. They probably just purchased a few of those to save face, you know, like that. I don't know that our bunch would necessarily do that intentionally, but uh, I'm sure that that crew out there in Texas was wanting to show them a good time. But probably, it was probably plenty of points is what I'm thinking. It could have very them. easily been. This might be part of the day. I don't know. I'll take it. We can sure see it. That's an in situ picture right there, how that point was. A little ear damage. That's a Gary Maybon. Oh, yeah, yeah. If that hadn't had that ear damage right there. Yeah. That's almost a late archaic barbed if it had uh, both uh, ears on it. Maybe. There you go. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. you got it? Yeah. That is a live find. Look at there. Mm -hmm. That's an older arrowhead. Mm -hmm. Tubed. Look here what a tiny point Chris just found. Hey, get it, buddy. A little bit of a tip. How you go? First birdie of the day. Yeah. Proud of that. Tip or no tip. Yeah, I found a point a minute ago. I didn't even stop to film it. Two, wasn't it? Yeah. It's <laughs> two good case points right there. They clean up nicely. 
Yeah, I got a little bitty point right here. Looks like it's got a little tit damage, but that is a tiny little red point. Look at there. Little collins. Yep. That is a true arrow tip. Fine little Collins. Good. Look at that boy. I'd have missed that. That's a fine That's... airhead. Well, I'm tired of fooling with you. I'm gonna find out. True arrow tip right there. Collins. All right. That's another incredible hunt. <laughs> Look how red my face is. I'm about to have a heart attack. 